Most people at Super Bowl City are taking in the sights, sounds, and tastes of San Francisco's Fan Village. ABC 7 News reporter Sergio Quintana joins us there live with a look at the festivities. Sergio? Eric, this has been in the works for the last two years, and today was the official opening of Super Bowl City. It's a massive party celebrating the run-up to Super Bowl 50. <laughs> Well, happy fans flooded into the festivities. The fanfare included live dance groups. Addresses from First Lady Michelle Obama, who mentioned Super Bowl City's efforts to encourage young people to be physically active. Oakland Raiders and San Francisco 49ers were also here for the opening ceremonies. We just want to welcome you. We want to thank you. And most importantly, we want you to have fun enjoying everything that this historic Super Bowl City, this historic celebration of Super Bowl 50, uh, will bring. Being able to watch the Super Bowls at a, such a young age is, is was a dream come true and now to be able to have it in our own cities is uh, it's more awesome than you can imagine. Super Bowl City will serve as the focal point of festivities in the run-up to the Super Bowl matchup at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara next Sunday. There will be a regular schedule of concerts and other live entertainment events here all week. Tonight there's Actually, three big things that are supposed to be going on. There's going to be a massive fireworks, par uh, fireworks display that's going to be launched as soon as the sun sets. There's also going to be the relighting of the Bay Lights project on the Bay Bridge. And then here at the city stage, Chris Isaacs is going to be taking the big stage. Reporting live at Super Bowl City in Subirman Park, I'm Sergio Quintana, ABC 7 News.